I used my phone to film and edit my videos. I used two applications. Hi, my name is Aria Sketcher. I'm a content creator here on YouTube. Been creating content since 2020 in August. I've been posting videos on beauty. And today I'm going to share with you how my journey has been as a content creator resources I've been using and how it was, how it has been for me and what I think works and how you too can make it on YouTube. If you're looking to start a YouTube channel or you are a small YouTuber and you feel like you're not experiencing growth on your channel, then I think this content is for you. Getting started. I started my YouTube channel on 28th of August in the year 2020, I started with one video where I was shaping the eyebrows. And then I realized the quality of that video was very poor and I took it down. Then I uploaded another one. So it doesn't matter how you start, just start. And from there, you can improve on your video, you can improve on your content. It's a channel, you can do whatever you want with it. Feel free just start number two is on the resources i spent a lot of time waiting to get the right resources so that i can start my channel i wanted a nice camera i wanted lighting nice background which i was not working on i used my phone to film and edit my videos i used two applications that is open camera to film the videos and power director to edit the videos so i edit the videos on my phone yeah the other thing concerning lighting i use natural light that's what i'm using right now i use natural light and i've been doing quite well like i love the journey i love the process you don't need fancy equipment to start your channel. Start with what you have, start where you are. And from there, you're going to get more creative. You're going to get ways to get away with, to do, improve your, the quality of your videos. And you're going to learn a lot. By the time you get the, the right equipment, the equipment that you desire, you're going to have learned a lot. The next thing that I think that you might be interested in is knowing how long it took me to get monetized filming from my phone. It took me exactly one year and two months. I got monetized in October last year and it's been a journey, I can say. Sometimes it can be frustrating, especially when you're seeing others doing well on their channel and you've created, let's say, like, 50 videos and none of them is blowing up. I would urge you not to give up. Sometimes I would feel down and I would stop con creating content for a week, for two weeks. And that is not good. <laughs> Later, I would find some motivation from others who are doing the same. And I would start again to create content until I get used to it. I've learned a lot of things here on YouTube, including patience. You need patience. You need to find motivation yourself. You need to find inspirations by yourself so that you can keep going. One of the um, one of the ways you can motivate yourself, I think, is by watching those channels that teach you how you can improve your videos. Watch videos on how to increase your views, how to increase your subscribers. Another thing is about niche. I didn't have a niche when I started. I just created the content that I felt that maybe it would motivate people. How much people would like to watch. And then from there, I realized the, the videos that were getting more views on my channel. And I continued to create more videos of those videos that were performing better. Like the videos on how to apply styling gel on natural hair. I've 
have been performing very well on my channel. They are the highest in the number of views and I still continue to create more of them. Those are the videos that have made me to get monetized, to get more subscribers and still until now they are still the ones that are making my channel to rise. I decided I do more of content related to hair or hairstyling. If you feel like creating a cooking video today, then tomorrow do a makeup, the next day do a vlog, go for it. Test your channel. It's your channel. It's your channel. You can always take down a video if you don't feel as if it's good enough for your channel. So test and see what will work for your channel and then focus on what is working. The other part is on applying for the AdSense. Once you have reached the monetization threshold, YouTube will send you a notification on your studio and it will tell you to proceed to the next step. It may take some time for YouTube to go through your content and verify that you have not violated any policy on the platform before allowing you to create an AdSense account and activate ads on your channel. Once you have created an AdSense account, a PIN will be sent to you so that to verify that you are the owner of the account. So you have to make sure that the information you've put on your AdSense account, including the postal address, are correct. And make sure that the postal address you use is active to make sure you don't miss the deadline. So make sure your physical address is an active address. Confirm with the owner of the address. If you are not the owner, confirm with the owner of the address before you use their address. Make sure that they pick the letters regularly. The pin is something like this. This is the pin. And you, you have some guidelines to feed in the pin. The other question we might be having is, when do I get paid? Um, when do YouTube pay? YouTube pay once you have reached. There's a given threshold of the amount that you can withdraw. For my case, once I have 70 euros, in the next month, I get paid automatically. It will it reflect on my bank account. If by the end of this month, I have 70 euros and above. In the next month, around date 21 to 26, the money will be sent to my account. And now I can withdraw and enjoy the money. So feel free to ask any question, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Keep creating. Bye.